Hi, this is Peter Newman. I'm a member on the ANSYS student community and uh, we have a question from a user, Sam, who's uh, building some geometry and space claim. In the previous video we put the four fillets in on the bottom and in this video we're going to put in a one inch diameter rod in between this one inch gap angled at uh, 45 degrees and welded to the sides of the top L brackets. So we've got a uh, space claim open here with those uh, weld fillets in there and uh, we're going to uh, draw the rod but uh, first we need a center plane because uh, the grid is not uh, lined up with this in any way and I can pick and shift click control click two planes when I s set that as a plane I get a center and now if I pick this face and sketch a rod I can uh, sketch snapping to that center plane and type in a one for the diameter and back to 3d I've got an exact centered rod that I can pull and if I pull it up to uh, three inches, it goes above, but back to select and turning off that plane, I can uh, rotate that to the 45 degrees by using the move tool. And uh, triple click selects the entire body. So it says one body selected down here. So when I use the move tool, I can rotate that body around this center point uh, to uh, minus 45 degrees and uh, that is um, a rod. So the rod is um, extending past the bottom which may be okay and it's almost extending past the top so I may, uh, may just either shorten the rod or lengthen the rod so that the uh, projection of the weld from this side to that side isn't partial. It's, it's either full or, or none. So um, I'm going to shorten this because that'll be a, a more conservative. Uh, there's, there's no connection beyond here so if I shorten this end with the move with the pull tool instead of the move tool I'll shorten the rod. I'll just shorten it up a little bit, say uh, 0 0.3, 0 0.25 and uh, this end I'll shorten by 0 0.25 and that is now going to be inside the uh, face here. So that's where I want to be. What I want to do now is uh, a couple of planes through that rod and that is going to be uh, picking this face and saying I need an axis and then picking that axis and saying I need a plane. So there's a plane through there and I'm going to rotate that plane using the move tool and I'm going to rotate it up 30 degrees and I'm going to uh, take a copy of that and rotate it down uh, 60 degrees with the control key. So if I go down by um, minus 60, I've got uh, two planes. Uh, let's see. The second plane isn't through the center, so let me uh, delete that. I want to pick this axis and this plane um, when I do the move. I want to pick this and I can move the center here onto the axis. Now it's, it's on the axis and when I do the move it will stay centered. So let's do that move now of minus 60. Uh, 
uh, I forgot to hold the control key down but I'll just uh, drag that onto the axis and then with the control key held down rotate it up by 60 and now I've got my two planes going through the center of the, uh, the rod so I'm going to hide everything but the um, that and I'll leave the two planes on I'm going to use those planes to split the, the face of this so I want to split that face with that plane and then I want to split the two faces control key with the other plane so now I've got two little uh, I missed the um, I picked the wrong plane I want to pick these two faces and split it with this plane there we go so now I have side faces on the rod that I can use to construct a um, fillet. I uh, don't need the planes anymore but I do want to see the um, L brackets so there's um, there's an L bracket on this side let's uh, take this face and project it onto this face so there's a project command and I can take that face and now I have it projected onto the other piece um, I see that it's overlapping a little bit so I might um, I might go back and shorten this piece up a little bit so that when I project it doesn't uh, fall off the edge so I'll use the pull tool take this and shorten it up a little bit more and now when I project and take that face take that face and project it uh, stays inside the face there um, it's falling off a little bit here too so I'll uh, shorten it up a little more and now I'll try the project one more time project that face and now I do have a I've finished this side this side uh, still uh, yeah shorten it up a bit more I think the undo undid one of the pulls I did let's uh, let's just make sure it's definitely short on both ends Yeah, so I think that will project and stay inside the um, other piece. So let's pick that fa pick project and pick that face. And now I've got my uh, desired rectangular face on the other part. Um, I will have when I click the, the checkbox. All right, that's what I was looking for, and um, I'm going to uh, create some geometry from those two faces. So I want to um, actually copy those faces, and it's very simple to click and control click um, a couple of the faces, control and control click. So I've got three faces selected, just to control C to copy and a control V to paste and I've got uh, two surfaces one two and I'm going to use those two surfaces to create a new solid and those surfaces I'll uh, use the pull tool to take us take an edge and pull that up to with the U, U keyboard up to this and the same on this side click this go and the U button up to this and now I've got a uh, the ends to fill in and I think using the repair 
and solidify missing faces automatically fills those faces in so that that just turned into a solid for me and I can now turn back on the rod and the L bracket and you can see that uh, if I were to go and mesh this geometry I would have uh, weld, weld material connecting the rod to the L bracket. So that is uh, the technique that I developed for this particular piece geometry and then maybe other ways to do it. There's always three different ways to do the same thing, but this is a good place to uh, finish the video. Thanks for watching.